Good evening, everybody. It is Friday night, June 5th, 2020, TGIF. We are kicking off the weekend. We got a beautiful night, a little windy, but um, looks absolutely gorgeous out. So we're gonna fire up the grill, get some steak cooking. We got fries in the oven, uh, super excited. Uh, this should be delicious, been marinating all day. So um, let's get started. All right, grill's just about up to temperature. We're gonna open it up, throw the steak on. I like to give my first side a good sear for about three to five minutes. Give it a little poke test, see if it's starting to firm up. And then I flip it to another hot spot on uh, the grill grates so I can get a good sear on the other side. I'll let that sit for another couple minutes. When it starts to firm up, try to get another uh, flip on it so I get the other side, get some nice cross marks, hatch marks on it. And then after another minute or two, um, flip it again to get some, some hatch marks on the other side. So overall, about eight to 10 minutes. Uh, hard to say really how long it is. Um, I just go by firmness. There's a thinner end to the flank steak that will cook a little faster than the thicker end. So knowing your hot spots on your grill, like I talked about the other day with your burgers, uh, you know that you can put either the thicker end, thicker side of the flank steak on the hotter side, and it will cook at about the same rate as the thinner end of the flank steak. But if you want a little more medium rare, which I like, I usually let the thicker end um, cook for about the same amount of time as the thinner side at about the same heat levels so that the thinner side is a little more medium and then the thicker end of it is a little more medium rare. So that's my trick to flank steak. Not sure what everybody else does, but here we go. Turn the burners down a little bit, close it up for a couple minutes, check it back, uh, check back in a couple minutes, see about flipping it. Uh, so hang tight. All right, so it's been a crazy week. Uh, my videos uh, every day this week have been short, have been unscripted, unplanned, whatever. Um, but I guess it's been kind of fun. Uh, I got them done. I'm happy that um, you know, I was able to get something out there, but it's just been a really busy, really crazy week. So um, hopefully next week starts to get a little less hectic, less busy. Um, start wrapping up some projects or at least being able to move on to the, the actual management of the sites versus the building, editing and tweaking. Um, we got another couple signups today, which is awesome, and we are building out a marketing plan to um, hopefully get that going uh, for the soft phase one, phase two, whatever it is, soft opening of New Jersey on June 15th, and then again on June 22nd, we're going to get push hard to get it marketed out to the masses, so stay tuned for that. All right, just about ready for the last fillet, and then we're going to take it off, let it rest for a little bit, slice it up thin. Throw a little salt on it with our sweet potato waffle fries, regular steak cut or bar fries, I guess they are. Um, that's about it. I don't know if you can see, but. This thicker end here, a little softer. The thinner end is a little firmer. That means this is more wet, uh, medium. This is gonna be more medium rare. All right, everybody, we are uh, wrapping up for the night. We're just out front in the garage. Got a little bit of work done on the trailer project. Hopefully be wrapping that up sh shortly. Uh, show you a little bit of that and then we will say good night all right so as you can see i don't know if you can tell but by adding that little bit of height and extension on the tongue 
we're now sitting a little bit more level, uh, whereas before the trailer from uh, on screen from left to right, the left was higher than the right um, when attached to the hitch. Now it's just still a little bit high, uh, but it's definitely a lot more flat. Uh, the other things we did, I showed you this the other day, was we added these extension bars up on top. So now it's six by eight instead of four by eight. So we'll be able to get a little more uh, payload on there as far as uh, how big things can get. And what we worked on tonight was the wiring. So right now I just have it temporarily wired up. Um, everything's grounded. I got the left left lights going to the left lights and the right wires go to the right wires. So that follows the frame down. And everything's just kind of held in temporarily for now, but as you can see, if I put on my hazards, we've got working lights. Blinky, 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 blinky. All good. And there you can see how it looks. With everything wired up looking real good all right so that's gonna about do it for tonight I'm gonna get this uh, put together and published we're supposed to get some rain tonight I don't know if you can see in the sky around me above me it's not looking great but so far rain is holding off actually in the backyard it looks definitely a little uh, <laughs> a little shady so we're gonna get wrapped up and get bundled up for the night close everything down and head inside i will see you tomorrow thanks good night be well have a good weekend